Over the past several months, FDA has been alerting healthcare professionals and the public about medical products that may contain contaminated heparin, which has been associated with a number of serious adverse events. Here's an update and recommendations on this continuing issue, including how to get the latest information. Heparin is an anticoagulant that's commonly used subcutaneously and intravenously in patients undergoing kidney dialysis, certain types of cardiac surgery, and other procedures. It's also used in lock flush solutions to maintain the patency of IV catheters and as a coating or ingredient in certain medical devices and diagnostic products. Towards the end of 2007, FDA started receiving an increasing number of reports of adverse events associated with injectable heparin products, especially when the heparin was administered as a bolus dose. Many of these events were consistent with either an anaphylactic type reaction or acute hypotension. A small number of similar events have also been reported for heparin flush solutions. FDA has identified a contaminant in the heparin and oversulfated chondroitin sulfate that may have led to the adverse events. This contaminant mimics heparin activity so closely that routine testing didn't uncover it. Special test methods are needed to detect this contaminant and the major U.S. heparin manufacturers and suppliers have agreed to perform these tests to screen all heparin active ingredients that they receive. FDA has also asked medical device companies to identify any product they market that contains heparin or uses heparin in processing. A number of companies have recalled heparin or products containing heparin and they did this based either on reports of adverse events or as a precaution after the special testing revealed that the company had been supplied with contaminated lots of heparin. Here's what FDA is asking health professionals and facilities to do. First, report adverse reactions associated with any drug or device that contains heparin. Since we're continuing to actively monitor the situation, it's essential that we learn about new events as soon as possible. You can find out more about what to report and how to report through a link at our website. We're focusing on events involving injectable heparin, heparin lock flush solutions, or medical devices that contain heparin. And that could include certain blood collection tubes, intravascular catheters, vascular stents and grafts, and other devices used during cardiac procedures such as oxygenators, pumps, filters, and blood reservoirs. You can find a list of medical devices that contain heparin by going to our website. Second, pay attention to recalls of heparin or heparin-containing products, including those by Baxter Healthcare, American Health Packaging, B. Braun, Covidian, Medtronic, and Atrium Medical Corporation. Information on recalls can change, so go to our website to stay up to date. Finally, check all of your drug and device storage areas, including emergency kits, crash carts, dialysis units, and automated drug storage cabinets to make sure that all recalled heparin products have been removed and are no longer available for use. Because the investigation of contaminated heparin is still underway, check our website frequently. The links are going to be updated with the latest information as it becomes available.